channel knowledge of friends subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon for the latest update today we're gonna start with your class that is of chemistry for class 11 part 2 that we had done your part 1 here itself in terms of class 11 this has been the class 7 where we had done your class 6 in the last sessions as well so this is gonna be uh, we'll continue with unit 8 and that is your redox reaction before that we had done your unit 7s in the last classes you can go ahead with the playlist you will find out each and every chapter each and every topic that we had done in that so but before starting with this today we're gonna uh, it's a huge request to all the viewers to please go ahead with like share and subscribe so that many and maximum people can get the information at once and even you can also enjoy the video as well let's go for the same and that uh, what we have to discuss today we'll discuss the last topic which we had covered up here as we had started with balancing of redox reactions where we even though had uh, done your uh, that is in terms of it we had done your st uh, oxidation number uh, method where we had done your step one step two step three step four step five with related to that we had done even the questions as well in the last classes we had done your nine questions uh, in terms of redox reaction with the basis of oxidation number in method that the last topic we had done for the balancing of redox reaction today we'll continue with the second part of same that is your balancing of redox reaction the second is your half reaction method so in terms of half reaction method here so here in this method the two half equations are balanced separately and then add it together to give a balanced equation we are suppose we have to balance the equation showing the oxidation of fe2 plus ions to fe3 plus ions as well by uh, dichromate ions which is cr2 o7 2 minus that we have in an acidic medium wherein cr2 o7 2 minus ions are reduced to cr3 plus ions the following steps were involved in this task will go for uh, the one by one and we are uh, we go here and that is for the step one So in step 1 what it has been that we have to produce unbalanced equation for the reaction in ionic form. So that will be having is Fe2 plus aqueous plus Cr2 O7 2 minus aqueous will produce Fe3 plus aqueous plus Cr3 plus was okay this is what we'll get here then after that second step we have to separate the equation into half reaction so we have to separate the equation into half reaction so on half reaction it will be in the form of oxidation half this again it will be your reduction half so for the oxidation half it will be Fe2 plus aqueous which is plus 2 will give Fe3 plus aqueous which is plus 3 now for reduction half it will be cr2 o7 2 minus aqueous which is plus 6 minus 2 it will give cr3 plus aqueous which is plus 3 now we go for the third one that is the step third which we have Here to balance the atoms other than uh, O and uh, 
H in each half reaction individually. Here the oxidation half reaction is already balanced with respect to Fe atoms. For the reduction half reaction, we multiply the Cr3 plus by 2 to balance Cr atoms as well. So here we go for the same. So for step 3, Cr2O7, 2 minus equals will give 2 Cr3 plus equals. Now talking about for the step 4 that we have to deal here. So here that is step 4 we have. In terms of step 4, it will be for a reaction occurring in acidic medium, add H2O to balance O atoms and H plus to balance H atom. Thus we get Cr2O7 2 minus aqueous plus 14 H plus that is an aqueous will give 2 Cr3 plus aqueous plus 7 H2O that we have now we talk about for the next one that has been the another one is your fifth one the step fifth So for step fifth, it is add electron to one side to the half reaction to balance the charges here. And uh, if a need be that make the numbers of electrons equals into the two half reaction by multiplying one or both half reaction by appropriate coefficient. The oxidation half reaction is thus rewritten to balance the change. So for that it will be. Fe2 plus aqueous will give Fe3 plus aqueous plus electron. So here this is now in the reduction half reaction there are net 12 positive charges on the left hand side and only 6 positive charges on the right hand side therefore we add 6 electron on the left side and that will be Cr2 O7 2 minus aqueous plus 14 H plus aqueous plus 6 electron that will give 2 Cr3 plus aqueous plus 7 H2O liquid. Here for the same it will be to equate uh, the equalize the number of electron in both the half reaction we multiply the oxidation half reaction by 6 and write the equation in the form 6 Fe 2 plus equals will give 6 Fe 3 plus equals plus 6 electron that is what we have here now we talk for the step 6 that we do here and that is we have as follows so for the step 6 here the step 6 uh, for the same it will be you know, we add the two half reaction to achieve the overall reactions and cancel the electron on each side this gives the net net an equation and that we have as follows 6 fe 2 plus equals plus cr2 o7 2 minus equals plus 14 h plus equals will give 6 fe3 plus equals thus 2 cr3 plus equals plus 7 h2o liquid now we talk about for the step 7 and that we have here For the step 7 here that verify that the equation contain the same type of the number of atoms and the same charges on both sides of the equation 
where this last check revealed that equation is fully balanced with respect to the number of atoms and charges. For the reaction in the basic medium, that the first balanced atom is done as an acidic medium, then for H plus ions, and add an equal number of OH ions to both sides of the equation, where H plus and OH minus appears on the same side of the equation, you have to combine these two gives H2O. Okay. So, on the same way, we go for the question that we'll deal here and that will be helpful for you as well. And uh, where or if you learn something new, so it will be helpful when you're going to practice for the same as well. So, here for this, we'll do the question, and that is your question number 10. Nine questions we had done, so that is what we'll be continuing here. The 10th question of the session, as well, which we have. So here, then a question. The question is, per magnet 7 ion, which is MnO4 minus, in basic solution oxidizes iodide ions I minus to produce the molecule iodine and that is I2 and manganese spore oxide which is MnO2 write a balanced ionic equation to represent this redox reaction so that what we'll have to represent it here so let's go for the same per manganate 7 ion MnO4 minus in basic solution oxidizes iodide ion I minus to produce molecular iodine which is I2 and manganese 4 oxide which is MnO2 write a balance ionic equation to represent this redox reaction Reaction that we have here. So let's uh, find out the solution for the same, and that will go out, uh, over and over. So we'll start discussing about this step one here. Step one. In step one, first we write the skeletal ionic equation, which is. MnO4 minus equals plus I minus equals will give MnO2 solid plus I2 solid. Okay. Now for the step two, the two half reactions will be written in an oxidation half and the reduction half that we had done in the last question as well. So in step two will be oxidation half so oxidation half and reduction half that we go here so we write it down for the oxidation half it will be I minus in aqueous 
this is minus 1 so it will transfer i2 this is 0 reduction half it is mn o4 minus equals this is plus 7 will get mn o2 solid this is 4 plus 4 now for the step 3 the step 3 is to balance here that uh, to balance the at one atom in the oxidation half reaction we write it as like step 3 so it will be 2i minus that is in aqueous will give i2 solid now talking about the step 4 that we have for the step 4 to balance the O atom uh, that uh, in the reduction half that we add two water molecules on the right so it will be MnO4 minus and aqueous will give MnO2 solid plus 2 H2O in liquid. To balance the H atoms, we add 4 H plus ions on the left. So MnO4 minus equals plus 4 hydrogen atom that will give MnO2 solid plus 2 H2O liquid okay that we have so as the reaction takes place on the basic solution therefore the four uh, for four h plus ions we add four oh minus to the both side of the equation and that we have here i mean a four minus equals plus four h plus equals plus 4 OH minus equals will give Mn O2 solid plus 2 H2O liquid plus 4 OH minus equals here replacing the H plus and OH minus ions with water the resultant equation is and then O4 equals plus 2H2 liquid will give Mn O2 solid plus 4OH minus equals now talking about the for the fifth one that we have here the step fifth which we in this step we balance the charges of the two half reactions in the manner depicted as so we go for the same in step 5 it will be depicted 2i minus equals will give i2 solid plus 2e minus where MnO4 minus equals plus 2H2 liquid plus 3 electron will give MnO2 solid plus 4OH minus equals. Now to equalize the number of uh, electron here and uh, we multiply the oxidation half reaction by 3 and the reduction half reaction by 2 so that will give you 6i minus equals that would give 6i2 solid plus 6 electron and your 2mno4 minus equals plus 4h2o liquid plus 6 electron that will give you 2mno2 solid plus 8 OH minus equals 
for the step 6 we go for it and that we will have in terms of step 6 add 2 half reactions to obtain the net reaction of a cancelling the electron on the both side it will be 6i equals plus 2mn of 4 minus equals plus 4H2O liquid it will give 3I2 solid plus 2MN O2 solid plus 8OH minus which is in aqueous here now for the step 7 that is a final a verification shows that the equation is balanced in respect of the number of atoms and the charges on the both side now we talk about for the next one which will be your the redox reaction as the basis of for a titration so for that we'll go here and that will discuss here in the detail about it uh, and then we'll discuss the limitation on the concepts of oxidation number as well so now we're gonna discuss about the titration so here we go for the same that is it of reaction as the basis for titration so in that uh, we will discuss about here in the detail that uh, we have to go for it so in the same way in acid base system we come across uh, here that uh, with the titration method for finding out the strength of one solution against the other using a pH sensitive indicator similarly in the redox system the titration method can be adopted to determine the strength of the reductant oxidant using a redox sensitive indicator and the usage of the indicator is in redox titration is illustrated to be as follows in one situation the reagent itself is uh, intensely colored example like permanganate ion mno4 minus here mno4 minus act as a self indicator the visible end point in the case is achieved after the last of the reductant which is fe2 plus or ca2 o4 2 minus is oxidized and the first lasting tin tinage of pink color appears at mno4 minus the concentration as low as 10 to power minus 6 mole dm minus q 10 to power minus 6 mole liter inverse this ensures a minimal overshoot in color beyond the equivalence point and the point where the reductant and the oxidant are equal in terms of their mole stoichiometry if there is no dramatic auto color change as m with mno4 minus titration there are indicators which are oxidized immediately after the last bit of the reactant is consumed producing a dramatic color change and the best example is afford, uh, afforded by cr 2 minus which is not a self indicator but oxidized the indicator substance which is diphenylamine just after the equivalence point to produce an intense blue color thus signaling the end point here and the same way uh, with uh, the case that is we have there is yet another method which is um, you know which is interesting uh, and quite common it's used and restricted to those reagent which uh, are able to oxidize i minus ions say for example cu2 which is uh, being uh, two cu we could uh, go for the equation here 2 Cu 2 plus equals plus 4 I minus equals it will give Cu 2 I 2 solid plus I 2 equals so this method relies on the fact uh, here uh, that is uh, in the same way that is on the fact that the iodine uh, itself gives an intense blue color with the starch and has a very specific reaction with thiosulfate ions which is s2o3 2 minus which 2 is a redox reaction in the same way that is will be i2 
एक्वास प्लस टू एस टू ओ थ्री टू माइनस एक्वास विल गिव टू आई माइनस एक्वास प्लस एस फोर ओ सिक्स टू माइनस एक्वास सो दिस इज व्हाट इट विल बी एंड इन द सेम वे आई टू दो इनसॉल्यूबल इन वाटर रिमेंस इन सॉल्यूशन कंटेनिंग के आई एस के आई थ्री on addition of starch after the liberations of iodine uh, from the reactions of CO2 plus ions on iodide ions and uh, an intense blue color appears this color disappears as soon as uh, the iodine is consumed by the thiosulfate ions thus the end point can easily be tracked and the rest is just stoichiometric calculations only now we talk about for the next one which is limitations of concept of oxidation number limitations of concept of oxidation number in the same way as you have observed in the above discussion the concept of redox processes have been evolving with time this process of evolution in is continuing in fact in a recent past the oxidation process is visualized as a decrease in electron density and reduction process as an increase in electron density around uh, the atoms involved in the reaction Now we go for the next one, which is the redox reaction and electrode process. That what we have to talk about it. So here we go for the same, but uh, here in that we have to deal with many of the topics related to it. So we gonna end up with this. We'll discuss the rest in the next coming class, which will be in the eighth class of the session as well. So that will be helpful for it. in that uh, before ending it off for the chemistry uh, we have done we are dealing with physics part 1 for class 11 we are dealing with the computer based numerical statistical technique we are dealing with the database management system uh, the er diagrams even though we are dealing with english vocabulary in terms of quantitative aptitude we had started with arithmetic ability in that we had done your 14th topic we are on 15th topic here and uh, which is in time and work last we talk about we had done your chain rule in terms of reasoning we had done your verbal reasoning and non verbal reasoning coming towards uh, your chemistry we had in that we had done your part 1 for chemistry uh, for class 11 and coming towards we are dealing with part 2 so we just deal with uh, in part 2 we are uh, dealing here many of the topics related to it we had started with the redox reaction surely we ending it up soon as well but before that in part 1 bit we have done in case go for it uh, in the you know play days so the unit 1 which we had done is your some basic concepts of chemistry unit 2 we had done structures of atom unit 3 we had done classification of elements and periodicity in the properties unit 4 we had done chemical bonding and molecular structure unit 5 we had done states of matter unit 6 we had done thermodynamics unit 7 we had done that is your equilibrium Now we had continued with uh, your uh, unit eight, which is the redox reaction. In that we had done your classical ideas of redox reaction, oxidation and reduction reaction. We had done your redox reaction in terms of the electron transfer reaction. Even though we had done your oxidation number, now we are dealing with the redox reaction and electrode process. And then we will continue with this, and after that we will be ending it up. After ending it up, we will start discussing about the unit ten, which is your hydrogen. Unit and ten is your S block element. Unit eleven is your P block element. Unit twelve is your organic chemistry, some basic principles and technique. Unit thirteen is your hydrocarbons. Unit fourteen is your environmental chemistry. After completing that, we'll be ending it up with the part one and part two for chem uh, chemistry for class eleven. Then after that, we'll continue with the class twelve as well. So first of all, it's a huge request to all the viewers to please go ahead with like, share, and subscribe so that many and maximum of people can get the information at once. And then you can also enjoy the video as well. Thank you. Hope you enjoy this video. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and give a suggestion on the comment box. Thank you. Please uh, subscribe our channel and stay tuned with us. Thank you.